Hello, my most amazing scholars of truth, goodness, and beauty. Hello, my most amazing teacher of truth, goodness, and beauty. How are you today? Ready to create? Awesome, because we are going to create today. This video is for my 3G distance learners, and today I'm going to show you part one of how to draw the four view animal assignment. So this is a new art assignment that I've never done before with a class. So you are my experimental class and we'll see how it goes. I'm just saying that because I'm not sure how many sessions it will take for my students at school to finish the assignment. So I am going to talk you today through how to you know, decide on the four views that you're going to draw. And then I'm going to have you start drawing. But I'm pretty sure my students in class won't have time to finish their drawings during the whole first session. So I'm going to just encourage you to try to at least draw two or three of the rectangles, but I don't really expect you to get all four done today. So let's just talk about, first of all, choosing an animal and how to find photos or pictures of those animals that you choose in four different views. All right, I'm gonna show you some things that I found and maybe that'll give you some inspiration. So I have already compiled a number of um photographs of animals that I found just on Google Images. So, you know, there are some pictures that I found in books of mine, like I have some animal books. Um, I have a book about puppies and I have a whole bunch of pictures of puppies, but I thought I would go online to see what I could find on Google Images. Now that's not something I want you to do without a parent really watching over your shoulder because um, I can't control what images pop up on there. But if you can get a moment of help from an adult at home, I want you to feel free to do that if you have help. If you like the images I have right here, please know that I am going to upload this document onto my teacher webpage, um, the Parnassus teacher webpage where you have to type in the password Pegasus. I will put this on there so you can go and use these pictures if you like what I have. As you can see in this first group of four pictures. I have the bald eagle here and this picture up here shows the entire animal or most of it as it's flying. Then I have a view that shows a close-up of the head with it turned like the profile direction so you can see the shape of the beak here. Then I have a close-up of the talons or the claws and a close-up of the eye. So I think that um, this one would, re would be really fun to do because there's a lot of different texture and different colors going on. So that's one choice. Another one I thought might be popular would be the horse. And so I've got one here of the horse uh, rearing, standing up on its hind legs. I've got a view here of the horse um, looking at you straight on. I have a close-up of the horse's eye with part of the bridle here. And then a close-up of the horse's hooves where you can see the horseshoe. So that one might be something you're interested in. The next animal I thought might be kind of popular would be the cat, the house cat. So here are my four different views I found for that. I also thought a lizard would be interesting. So this is a, a gecko lizard, a leopard gecko. And you can see all four views here. I've got the entire animal in this view. All right, now I also put a cow on here if you're interested in doing four different views of a cow. This one's kind of silly. I feel like he's telling a joke there. I don't know what the joke is, but should be funny. And then we've got the giraffe. And I just wanted to point out that it's okay to find a picture where there's more than one animals in it, like uh, multiple giraffes. So this one, of course, has three. And then I really recommend that whatever animal you pick, you do a close-up of the eye because I think that'll be really fun to try to draw in color and the textures are so interesting. Um, and so if you're making your own 
um, diff four different views of a different animal, try to put, put a close up of the eye. So I'm hoping you're getting the idea that when you decide what animal you want to draw, you're gonna need to have four different pictures to include in your artwork. And I do not expect you to draw these from your brain. Like you need to be looking at the picture in order to be able to draw it successfully. We're even going to um, really look for certain like simple shapes. And so your best bet is to have something that you can draw on, like to print this piece of paper out so that you can actually draw over it as a way of practicing the simple shapes that you're going to draw on your final copy paper. All right, so once you've decided on an animal and printed out four different views, then you're ready to start drawing the picture. Again, if you can, if you don't have a printer, it's totally okay to just like put it up on your computer or on your um, iPad or whatever device you have, and you can just look at it from there to then draw on your paper. It's okay if you can't print it out. I'm going to show you how to divide your paper into four sections for this project. Now, um, in the packet of supplies that you received at the beginning of the year, you should have found a nine by 12 piece of drawing paper. Now drawing paper is just a little thicker than copy paper. Uh, if you don't have that drawing paper, then feel free to use whatever paper you can find at home um, and just make sure it doesn't have lines on it. Okay. I would put it in front of me, the horizontal direction. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fold it like a book in half. So since this is our final copy, just be really neat and precise. Match up the corners first, hold it steady, and then I always push my finger to the center and then go up and down. So fold it in half that way, then unfold it, and then you're gonna fold it in half the other direction. So you can take the top and bring it down and fold it in half what I like to call the hot dog way and match up those corners, slide your finger down the middle and go to the left and the right. Now you have four sections and to make those sections even more obvious, you're going to take a ruler and a black marker. You could just start with a pencil if that's all you have right now, that's fine. Uh, you can go over it later with a marker. So I'm just going to line up my ruler. I'm just using it as a straight edge right now. I'm not measuring anything. I'm gonna line it up on the fold and draw a line with my pencil or a black marker. Then I'm just gonna flip my paper the other way and draw a line down the middle again with my pencil. Later on when I'm done with my project, I'm gonna highlight those with dark black uh, ink or marker and then I'm gonna do the same around the, the edge for like a frame. But right now, that's where we're gonna start with our four segments. Now you can draw all of your pictures vertically or horizontally, whatever works best for the pictures that you chose. Now before we draw anything here, I want you to focus on the pictures that you chose. So here's a printout of the eagle, for example. I'm just gonna zoom in here to the one that's flying. And I want you to take a minute to take your pencil and just like make simple shapes out of what you see. And if you can't draw, like if you have yours on a screen and you can't draw on it, then just like use your finger and pretend you're drawing on it to really show yourself that it doesn't have to be complicated. You can draw anything with simple shapes and lines. All right, so the first thing I'm going to focus on is the shape that goes across here, which is, or the line, it's basically a horizontal line with a few little bumps. And so that's not too hard. Then the next thing I'm gonna focus on is the shape of the head. Now, of course, these are zigzaggy lines right here, which are amazing and fun. And the rest of this is shaped kind of like an egg. And then the beak is a V shape, just like that. Now the next part is the legs, and I can see these being just like simple oval shapes that I would draw like that. And then the tail behind is like, like a fan, 
and there's gonna be some zigzaggy lines in there. And then the rest of the bird is just making, of course, a curvy line for the wings on this side and a curved line over here. And these feathers up here will be some fantastic little zigzag lines also. So just outlining it like that really helps you see that you can draw this. All right, so I would go through, maybe just do one or two today, and then we're gonna go over to draw them on our paper. Um, now, of course, you don't have to choose the eagle. You can choose whatever animal you would like. You can make your own collage of four pictures, or you can print out one of mine that I made. I am going to draw this eagle on my paper right here. And you don't have to draw the same thing as me. In fact, you can just turn off the video and do your own drawing, or maybe you just wanna watch me do it so you can kind of get an idea of how to think through it. Or maybe you do want to do the eagle and you can draw along with me. All right, so the first thing I need to think about is space and how big it is. Now, I don't wanna make the same exact size eagle because this eagle is tiny compared to the space I have. So I'm gonna think about how much space it needs to fill up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, I'm gonna think of this as thirds, like one third blue, one third black, one third blue. So I'm gonna think about where a third of the way down is. And I'm just gonna make a curvy line here that will be the top of his wings and where his head goes. The head should probably be the next thing I draw. So I'm gonna kind of find the middle right here and I'm gonna make that egg shape on this side and I'm gonna make those zigzaggy feathers on this side and then I'm going to make the V-shaped beak and a little eye right there. All right, that's starting to look like a bird already. Now, straight down from this part between the beak and the zigzags is the first oval shape for the leg. Now I'm going to go with the bottom of the wings. So that starts right about here by the leg and I'm gonna aim to go off the page. So I'm gonna kinda go horizontally for a minute and then I'm gonna curve up. And then on the other side, I've got some feathers here I can see and then it goes kind of horizontal and curves up. Okay, now the tail coming right from this leg. I'm gonna swoop out here. And remember, this is a fan shape. So then there's a little point on this side. Okay, now the claws, the talons, those are shaped kind of like backwards letter C on this side and a straight down talon here. Now you can tell I'm gonna need to do some different detail in the body, but in my photo, you can't really see a lot of what's going on there. But there will be, when we color it later, there'll be all sorts of detail we can add with the colors that will make it look feathery and they'll, we'll put some texture in the body here, some shading, and then it'll look even more realistic. But for today, I just wanna get your first sketch done. Now, if you have time, I want you to also do a second sketch because then we'll be able to move on the next day. Now, if you chose to do an eagle, all four of these need to be parts of the eagle. I do not want you to mix animals. So I don't wanna see an eagle and then a puppy and a giraffe. They all need to be the same animal, but just four different views. All right, you can upload a picture if you want to show me your progress, but I don't really need to have the pictures until the whole project is done, but that's totally up to you. If you wanna get it off your list, you can submit um, a response that says, I did this part, or here's a picture of it so far, um, but I won't be grading it until the very end. All right, thanks, we'll see you next time.